Hi, Dr. Rick Upchurch with you again. Another short Excel tip. This continues along the same theme of, of helping you to filter and sort. And now we're going to look at a calculated field that has to do with the reality that uh, there are some sections that if they are too small will need to be either uh, reviewed for viability or marked as independent study. But you can see there are all different sizes here. There is a quick way to sort or rather to calculate and have them indicate if they fall into that uh, independent study category. And this would work for any field that has a number value which can be used as a calculation. So first step, insert a column. Second step, uh, go to that column. And now we're going to begin to insert a column, and we're going to insert a formula. The formula we're going to use is an if-then formula. So we're going to put in the equals, I if, a parentheses, and now we're going to go if L2 is less than 4, comma, I want it to give me a Y for, yes, it's an independent study, comma, and if it's not, then I want it to give me an N for no. And then I'll hit the end result there and hit enter and you see it pops up Y. Again, just like before, I'm going to hover over this little cursor, this little handle here at the bottom, double click, and it fills it all the way down. I'm going to title this Independent Study or IS for short. And so now it's possible for me to group all of these independent studies or even just eliminate. So I can sort. Uh, we'll go Z to A because I want the independent studies to be on top and I can quickly identify uh, the numbers that I'm looking for or the courses that fit into this category. And of course you can see some of these are canceled so I can get rid of those right now by filtering them out. Alright, another quick tip on how to add a calculated uh, column that allows you to make better use of the numbers and better use of your sorting and filtering functions. Hope that is helpful to you.